Assignment 2 topic is SMTP SMMP Trace Room. Group members are Yashishri Oak, Abhilash Tiwari, and Aditya Shandi. Now, we will be moving forward towards SMTP protocol. SMTP stands for Simple Mail Transfer Protocol. SMTP model is of two types, end-to-end -end method and store and forward method. It is a TCP IP protocol that specifies how computers exchange electronic mail. It works with the post office protocol, POP. SMTP is used to upload mail directly from the client to an intermediate host, but only computers constantly connected such as internet service providers to the internet can use SMTP to serve, receive the mail. The ISP serves then offload the mail to the users to whom they provide the internet service. To send a mail, a system must have a client MTA and to receive a mail, system must have a server MTA. SMTP transfers this message from the client MTA to server MTA. SMTP uses commands and responses to transfer the message between the MTA client and MTA server. In order to send a mail, SMTP is used two times, one between the sender and the sender's mail server and the other between the two mail servers. Model of SMTP system. It consists of eight blocks. User at a terminal, at a sender terminal. User at a terminal, at a receiver terminal. Two user agents. Sent mail queries. User mailboxes. MTA messages transfer agent. And MTA message transfer receiver. So, with this block diagram, you can have an overview of how the SMTP model works. Now, SMTP is a simple ASCII protocol that is based on the client server model. After establishing the TCP connection, the sending machine operating as the client waits for the receiving machine operating as the server to talk first. The server starts by sending a line of text giving its identity and telling whether or not it is prepared to receive the mail. If it is not, the client releases the connection and tries again later. SMTP commands. SMTP commands are sent from the client to the server. Each command consists of a keyword or a command name followed by a zero or more argument. It means some keywords do not contain any argument. The format of the command is keyword colon argument in bracket S. There are 14 different SMTP commands available. SMTP responses. SMTP responses are sent from the server to the client. Each response begin with the three-digit code and may be followed by additional textual information. The leading digits indicate the category of the response. The difference categories of the response are positive completion reply, positive intermediate reply, transient negative completion reply, permanent negative completion reply. In the positive completion reply, it indicates that the requested action has been successfully completed. A new request may be initiated. In the positive intermediate reply, it indicates that the command has been accepted, but the requested action is being held in abeyance pending receipt for further information. Transient negative completion reply. It indicates that the command was not accepted and the requested action did not occur. However, the error condition is temporary and the action may be requested. Permanent negative completion reply. It indicates that the command was not accepted and the requested action did not occur. Moving towards the block diagram of SNMP. Simple Network Management Protocol is an application layer protocol defined by the Internet Architecture Board IAB in RFC 1157 for exchanging management information between the network devices. It is a part of the TCP 
Transmission Control Protocol IP Internet Protocol Suit SNMP is one of the widely accepted protocols to manage and monitor network elements. SNMP Manager A manager SNMP Manager A manager or the management system is a separate entity that is responsible to communicate with the SNMP agent implemented network devices. This is typically a computer that is used to run one or more network management system. SNMP manager's key functions are queries agent, gets responses from the agent, sets variable in agent, acknowledges asynchronous events from agent. Now, moving toward the managed devices. Managed devices. A managed device or the network element is a part of the network that requires some form of monitoring and management. For example, routers, switches, servers, workstations, printers, and UP. Now, we will talk about SNMP agent. SNMP agent is a program that is packed within network element. Enabling the agent allows it to collect the management information database from the device locally and make it available to the SNMP manager when it is queried for. These agents could be standard, let SNMP, or specific to a vendor. SNMP agent's key functions are collects management information about its local environment, stores and retrieves management information as defined in the MIP, signals an event to the manager, acts as a proxy for some non-SNMP manageable network mode. This was all about the SNMP. Now moving forward towards the Trace root command. Trace root is basically a command which is used in the software Linux commands under the software of used in CC. Traceroute command is used to discover the routes that the packets actually take when traveling to their destination. The device, for example, a router or a PC, sends out a sequence of user datagram protocol, UDP datagrams, to an invalid port address at the remote port. Three datagrams are sent, each with the time to leave field value set to 1. Time to leave value of 1 causes the datagram to time out as soon as it hits the first router in the path. This router then responds with an ICMP time exceeded messages indicating that the datagram has expired. Another three UDP messages are now sent, each with the time to leave value set to 2, which causes the second router to return ICMP PEMs. The purpose behind this is to record the source of each ICMP time exceeded messages to provide address of the path the packet took to reach the destination. So, traceroute gives an insight to network latency or more specifically the time taken to send and receive the data to each devices on the path. The entire path that the packet travels through means an identity of the routers and devices in your path. So this was the discussion about the SMTP, SNMP and traceroute protocols.